In this video, I'll be showing you how you can exposure stack your images to create a HDR or high dynamic range effect in your photos just using Lightroom Classic. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, to create a high dynamic range effect using exposure stacking, you're going to need multiple photos at different exposures. I recommend up to three, but you will need a little bit more if you want more dynamic range. What you do is you take a photo that's a little bit too dark, a photo that's correctly exposed, and then a photo that's a little bit overexposed. And then what you do in Lightroom Classic is you merge them all together. In this example, I'm actually gonna be using five photos, and it's some photos I've recently taken in Zion National Park in Utah. So as you can see, we've got a photo here. This is a little bit too dark. Then we've got one that's kind of intermediate. We've got a correctly exposed one. We've got a slightly overexposed and then very overexposed. And what we want to do is basically take the information found in the shadows in the highly exposed image. And then you want to go ahead and take the, basically the bright areas and we want to basically manipulate and add those into the darker photos. So we're taking the best of the highlights and the best of the shadows and merging it all together into one spectacular image. So to do that, go to your library and choose the five photos that you want to choose or three or seven, whatever number you've chosen with. So I'm gonna go choose these five here. Go basically select them all, as you can see, right click, and then what you want to do is go down to photo merge. Inside photo merge, you want to go ahead and select HDR, or if you're doing a panoramic HDR photo, go ahead and select that. But for this example, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just gonna be doing a bog standard high dynamic range image. What it'll do is it'll pop up with this dialog box. Firstly, you wanna check that all five images, however many images you're doing, are successfully merged. You wanna make sure you're using obviously a tripod, so obviously your camera doesn't necessarily move. You also wanna make sure auto align is turned on, so you're making sure everything looks correct. I actually like turning off auto settings because I don't want basically Lightroom Classic to tell me what's right. I kind of want to control it after the fact, maybe apply a preset. Then we've got de-ghosting amount. I like choosing medium for this example and you can actually see by the overlay here how much it is ghosting. You want to kind of want that to be basically as low as possible. So I'm actually going to choose low in this specific example, but you can experiment, see what works best for your image. Again, it really depends on image to image basis. And then the last thing you could do is you can turn it into a stacked image. Now, if you ever editing in Photoshop, basically what it will do is it will save it as layers, but we're not gonna be doing that in this example, so I'm gonna go ahead and have that turned off. And then all you need to do is go ahead and click Merge, and you can see the progress bar in the top left-hand side. And what Lightroom Classic will do, it will take all of those five images and merge it into one. Again, taking all that information in the shadows and all that information in highlights and basically merging it into one, a super high dynamic range image. And as you can see, it's come up with Photo 6. So what we're gonna do is go over to the VEDA panel, and as you can see, we've got way more information in this photo. What I could do is just basically increase the exposure. You can see we've got a lot more information found in the shadows here. And if I go ahead and darken it, you can see we've still got a lot of information in the highlights, which is really good. So what I'm gonna do is go over to my National Park presets. I'm gonna go ahead and apply I think I'm gonna go ahead and apply Bryce Canyon National Park, and it comes up with this amazing image. So what I can do is show you the before and the after. We've got so much more information in the highlights and so much more information in the shadows, and that is how you can basically create a high dynamic range image using exposure stacking inside Lightroom Classic.